video, we're going to uh, show you how you can uh, boot up C64 OS and configure it uh, for the very first time from a commercial SD uh, SD card system card. So um, I'm running uh, an Ultimate 64. Uh, it's got Jiffy DOS installed, and I'm also using this um, very nice um, cableless SD to IEC drive. So first. Um, with Jiffy DOS, we can hold the control key and push D to cycle through our devices. So we can see that device eight is a virtual 1541 uh, that's built into the Ultimate 64. Device 10 is our cableless SD to IC. So I'm going to just take this uh, beautiful little system card here and we'll insert it into the SD to IC. And we'll push F1 to list a directory. Now, um, let's go over some of these, these files. Uh, C64 OS is the booter. C64 OS setup is a, an installation setup tool. It's gonna get run automatically for us. Uh, C64 restore is, an, is the installer. Restore.car is a very big file. Um, that's a, it's an installation archive file. However, um, on the system card, C64 OS is already installed. It's installed in this OS directory. So the restore.car and C64 restore files, they're included on the SD card so that you can transfer them to some other drive, like maybe an IDE64 or a RAM link or CMD HD, and then perform the installation there. Um, so you should make a backup of those but you don't actually need to perform the installation on this system card. So what we're going to do is run the booter. So I'll say uh, up arrow C64 OS. Now the first thing that happens is because the booter knows that uh, this is the first time it's ever been run, uh, it runs the setup tool for us. So the setup tool asks us uh, if we've read the license agreement. You can find the URL to uh, go read it on c64os.com. Please do read it. Um, I already have, so I'll say yes. Now, uh, next it says, do we want to perform a fresh installation? Uh, no, we would do that if we were installing onto some other device to which we had copied these, these installation files. Um, do we want to change the installed location? Now, as we saw earlier, my SD to IEC is device 10. The problem is that for you, it might be device 12 or device nine or device eight. So um, changing the installed location lets us configure the booter for the specific uh, hardware that we have. So I'll say change the installed location. Now, um, all of these things are detected from uh, how I just ran this booter. So we don't actually have to change these, we just have to confirm them, and then they'll get written into the booter. So we'll say yes for device 10, yes for partition 1, and uh, we will accept OS as the default uh, system folder name. Are those all correct? Yes, they are. So those settings get written into the booter, and now we're asked, uh, do we want to boot C64 OS right away, or do we want to quit to basic? Um, now, because we've never booted before, um, we should also run through the configure tool at least once to configure the really uh, critical stuff like do you have a mouse or do you have a joystick uh, and so on. So I'm going to say quit to basic. Now to run the configure tool uh, we have to change into the settings directory. So I'll show you how to do that. Uh, this is with Jiffy DOS. So we'll say at cd slash slash os slash settings. So this is the, the at command is like a command wedge, cd is the change directory command, and then slash slash is the root directory, then os slash settings will take us into the settings directory in the os. Next we'll use the up arrow and, uh, whoops, and configure. That's gonna run the configure tool. So I'm just gonna accept the defaults for all of these until we get lower down and um, I'm just pushing return to accept these. So display the menu bar, uh, the time in the menu bar rather, uh, 24 hour time, blink the seconds, 
I'll use the normal mouse pointer, normal speed, normal double click delay. I'll accept those colors. I am right handed. Uh, I want to show the CPU busy indicator. We have a couple of global uh, keyboard shortcuts that we can customize, but I'll accept those defaults. Um, I'll accept this uh, default for the status bar. Not going to worry about expanded memory right now. Um, I'll accept the default for that, and I'll accept the default for uh, that. Next, we get to this drivers section. So this is the important part. Um, we have to choose uh, what hardware is the source for our real-time clock. If we don't get this right, uh, the time will will be misconfigured, and you could have some problems with things that depend on the clock. Um, now, I have an SD to IEC, which is listed here as an IEC source. However, most SD to IECs don't actually include the RTC hardware, uh, as this one does not. So that's not going to do it for me. Um, but I am running on an Ultimate 64, so I can use uh, UCI with either the 1541 Ultimate or Ultimate 64. So I'll choose that. Um, if I didn't have um, an actual source of RTC, you could choose none of the above, and it'll just use like a default time, uh, default date and time. Um, and lastly, um, for drivers, what's, what's important here is what kind of input device do we have. So I'm using a Micromus 5 uh, with a PS, just a standard PS2 mouse. So I'm going to choose uh, 1351 mouse in port 1. And lastly, we have Go Menu Places. Um, because this is the first time I'm running this, I'm going to say yes, configure the default Go Menu Places. But if I were to run this Configure Utility again in the future, which you can do whenever you want. You can skip this if you've changed your uh, Go menu places. So that's going to write out those configuration files. And next, um, I'm going to go back to the root directory. So I'm going to say at cd slash slash. And uh, I'm going to use the up arrow and I'm going to run the booter. So here we are booting up C64OS for the first time. Um, now that configure tool that we ran, um, you don't have to worry about whether you're making the right decisions or the wrong decisions, really. You can run it whenever you want and you can change any decision that you want. Uh, so here we are, um, booted up into C64 OS and it's, it's got the right time and my mouse is, uh, my mouse is working and that's all there was to it. Thanks for watching.